That's right, Craig. That shooting happened here at the Best Inn Motel here on North 2nd Street in Boonville. Now, I did talk to police, and they said that Jonathan Lambert was responsible for that shooting, and he was arrested for this crime. Now, according to the owners, they tell me they heard a loud disturbance. They came out to see what was going on, and when they got out here, they saw that Lambert was making a getaway. This is video from someone staying at the Best Inn when the shooting happened. According to police, they got the call around 6:15 Tuesday evening of a possible shooting. The suspect uh, had actually fired one shot inside the room and also one shot into a vehicle out in the parking lot that was occupied three times by uh, two males and a female. According to an employee here, another employee was here in this pool painting it and getting it ready for the summer. However, that's when he heard loud yelling and car doors banging, stopped what he was doing, and alerted his other employee to call 911. But officers said the person who fired those shots had taken off. Jonathan Lambert was eventually stopped near Thrasher. However, law enforcement said he threw the gun and drugs out of the car. The suspect and the uh, female actually had a uh, child together. The domestic disturbance started between um, the um, child's daddy and the mother's boyfriend. Police charged Lambert with aggravated domestic violence with a firearm, two counts of aggravated assault with a firearm, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. He's already made his initial court appearance where a judge has set his bond at $100,000. After speaking with police, Lambert is also facing additional charges in Prentice County because when he was leaving here at the motel, instead of him actually trying to make a getaway, they tell me he was actually chasing after the victim. And while chasing them, he did fire additional shots at their car. He was later stopped by Prentice County police and arrested. Reporting live in Boonville, Aaron Wilson, WTVA 9 News.